Hi, in this lecture we are going to talk about the concrete implementation of the heap data structure. So, let's get started. Basically we are going to have a single class, the heap, with the object as usual. We are going to define the heap size, so we are able to insert for example 10 items into the heap. As we have discussed in a theoretical section, we are going to use an array to store the items as far as binary heaps are concerned. So this is exactly what we are going to do here. So we are going to have the init with the self as usual. We will have the heap is equal to a one dimensional array, we initialize all values to be zero and we are going to have as many items as the heap size, okay? And we are going to define a current position to be equal to minus one. It is going to point to the index of the actual item in the one dimensional array, basically in the heap. Okay, then we are going to have the insert method the insert method is going to get a item we would like to insert, for example, integers 10, 20, 30, and so on. And if we check that the given heap is full, so if it is full, we just return and we print out that, okay, heap is full, something like this. So what about this? is full method, it's going to be a boolean method, it's going to return whether the heap is full or not, so we just have to check that if self.currentPosition is equal to the heap.heapSize, .heap size, it means that we return true because the given heap is full, and else we just have to return false. Okay, so this is how we check whether the given heap is full or not. Okay, and if it is not full, we just have to first of all increment the current position. So current position plus one. We just have to insert so the heap with the current position is equal to the item. So basically we insert the item into the heap and then we fix up. So we are going to have a method fix up with the self.currentPosition. Why do we need this fix up method? Okay, so if we keep inserting items, on every insertion we have to check whether the heap properties are violated or not. So for example, this is a maximum heap, so the maximum item should be the root node. Okay, in this case it is valid, but for example, if we insert a hundred, then we have to reconstruct the tree-like structure, because in this case, the root node is not the maximum value, so we have to swap them, okay. And this is how we check on every insertion whether the given tree-like structure is a valid binary tree or not. Okay, in this case, for example, it is valid. The 5 is greater than 2, 100 is greater than 5 and 23. So for a maximum heap, we have to make sure that the parent is always greater than the children. So this is what we do here, the fix up. And basically this fix up method is not that complex because we have the fix up method with the self and an index of a given node, as we have discussed in a the theoretical section, that the heap can be represented with the help of a one-dimensional array. So we are able to assign indices to given nodes in the tree-like structure. As you can see here, for example, that the root node with the value 100 is associated with the index 0. 1 is going to be 19, index 1 will be the 19, index 2 will be 36, and so on. So there is a connection between the tree-like structure and the array indices. Okay, so we have the index of that given node, and we just have to find the parent index. First of all, we have to cast it, but anyways, the index minus 1 and divide by 2. Of course, we have to use something like this. 
This is what we have been discussing that if we have the parent i, then the left child will be 2i plus 1, the right child will be 2i plus 2. So basically we are able to get the parent node with the help of this equation and this is why we have to cost it and it's going to be the parent because we keep inserting a given item and we have to check from that given node up to the root node that we are not going to violate any of the he properties. Okay, so we have to say that while the parent index is greater or equal than zero and the self.heap with the parent index is smaller than the self.heap with the index, then we have to swap the two items. For example here, we insert 210, it's going to be the right child of the 10, and we keep going from the item we have inserted up to the root node, how? We keep getting the parent node, the parent node of this node is 5, the parent node of 5 is 100, and we keep checking, and if the heap with the parent node, which is 5, is smaller than the heap with the index. The index is the index of the node we have inserted. As you can see, then we have to swap the two items. And again, we have to get the parent of this given node, and we have to check whether the parent is greater. In this case, again, the parent is smaller, so we have to swap them. So if the parent is smaller, then we have to swap them. How to swap them? We create a temporary variable with the index. Then we set the heap index to be equal to the self heap with the parent index. Then the self heap parent index is equal to the temp. And then again we update the parent index, so the parent index again will be the integer index minus 1 divided by 2. So while the parent index is greater or equal than 0, what does it mean? That it is the root node, and we know that it is a maximum heap, so the parent should be greater. So if the parent is smaller, we have to swap them, and we keep iterating until we bump into the root node. Okay, so as you can see we keep comparing and again this and then we are considering the root node so or fix up function and okay. So that's all about the fix up function. In the next lecture we are going to talk about heap sort. Thanks for watching.